Today's topics are visual neural pathways and visual field defects. Visual pathways allow visual information to travel from the retina to the visual cortex in the occipital lobe. When this visual information that travels by way of electrical signals along neurons arrives at the visual cortex, we become consciously aware of what we are seeing. The left and right visual fields represent the entire area we can see peripherally when we focus on a central point. Left and right parts of visual fields for both eyes have a temporal and nasal portion. Light rays coming from the visual fields enter the eye and travel through the lens where they cross over to the opposite side of the retina. The portion of the retina that receives information from the nasal visual field is referred to as the temporal retina. And the portion of the retina that receives information from the temporal visual field is the nasal retina and is the portion of the retina that is closest to the nose. From the retina, the visual information is transmitted by way of ganglion cells that come together to form the optic nerves that then extend to the optic chiasm, where some of the nerve fibers of the optic nerve cross over to the opposite side of the brain. Notice it's visual information coming from the nasal retina of both eyes that crosses over at the optic chiasm. After the optic chiasm, the visual information travels via the optic tract all the way to the thalamus. Remember that all sensory information going to the brain, except for olfactory information, first goes to the thalamus before traveling to the cerebral cortex. The nuclei of the thalamus that receive visual information are known as lateral geniculate nuclei, or LGN. Notice that collateral axons of the optic tract also extend to the superior colliculi in the midbrain. The superior colliculi are very important for visual reflexes and cause the eyes and neck to turn toward a visual stimulus, such as bright lights in your peripheral vision while driving at night or when tracking moving objects. The optic tract axon synapse with cell bodies of the LGN in the thalamus. Visual information then travels by way of optic radiations from the LGN to the primary visual cortex in the occipital lobe. Visual information may be disrupted as it travels along these pathways by pathological conditions such as trauma, tumors, and vascular lesions. An important example is pituitary tumors. The pituitary gland sits in the cella turcica, which is very near the optic chiasm. An enlarging pituitary tumor, called a macroadenoma, can disrupt visual information, especially information coming from the nasal retina, which crosses over at the chiasm. Remember that visual information that crosses over at the chiasm originated from temporal visual fields of both eyes, so patients with a pituitary tumor may experience a blockage of visual information coming from the temporal visual fields. This temporal visual field blockage leaves just the central visual field, a condition known as tunnel vision, because you just see the center of the visual field. Visual field defects may be noted when damage to the visual pathways or to the visual cortex occurs. As mentioned, examples include trauma, tumors, and vascular lesions. Anopia is blindness in one eye and could occur if there is a disorder that blocks visual information in one of the optic nerves. If half of the visual field for one eye is affected, then it's called hemianopia. So a lesion at the optic chiasm would result in bitemporal hemianopia, more commonly known as tunnel vision. If there was a lesion in the optic tract, it would affect visual information coming from both left and right visual fields. If it was a right optic tract lesion, the resulting disturbance would be bilateral left hemianopia, or loss of the left side of the visual field of both eyes. You could also describe it as a loss of the temporal visual field in the left eye and loss of the nasal visual field in the right eye. To test your knowledge of visual neural pathways, please arrange the following terms in the correct order as visual information travels from visual fields to the visual cortex in the occipital lobe. Pause the video now and determine your answers. If you answered the following order, you are correct. Using this figure, please answer the following questions. Which letter is the closest to the pituitary gland? Superior colliculus, 
LGN, optic chiasm, retina, optic nerve, and optic radiations. Pause the video and determine your answers. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.